Good evening and thanks for watching this NBC26.tv weather update. I'm Chief Meteorologist Chris Still. I've been getting a lot of questions tonight and really last night too about why the moon is so orange out there and it turns out there's a very good meteorological reason. Take a look at this graphic. They've been having a lot of wildfires in northern parts of Canada, especially in the uh, Alberta province. The jet stream meanwhile is a ridge in the west and a trough in the east and that has those 150 to 200 mile per hour winds located at about 30,000 feet up in the air blowing all the way from Canada down into the deep south and that thin layer of hazy smoke has been causing the light rays from the moon to be bent or refracted as they pass through the upper atmosphere and that makes the moon appear that bright shade of orange especially when it first comes up and is low on the horizon. Now there has been a lot of talk about the Star of Bethlehem conjunction the past couple of nights. It peaked on Tuesday night June 30th but the stars are still, the planets I should say, are still very close together tonight. Now here in Georgia where I am there's a lot of smoke in the sky and some cloud cover, so the view is not very good. But in other parts of the country, it is a good view and very easy to see. All you have to do is look in the western sky about 30 minutes after sunset. Meanwhile, a quick check of our weather. We'll go ahead and do it all around the country since I realize many of you are watching from other locations. Looks like a very hot pattern out in the west, and that's going to continue for a few days. Cooler than average across the east, and that means significant rainfall, especially across the Tennessee and Ohio Valley. Our radar around the United States tonight showing uh, pretty good coverage of showers and thunderstorms, and we'll zoom in on the southwest. A few scattered light rain showers here, especially in eastern parts of Colorado, but some clear skies splashed in there as well. Rough weather across Missouri over into uh, parts of southern Indiana. That's all along a front that's going to sag to the south over the last couple of days. We'll finish up where most of you are probably watching from, either Georgia or South Carolina. Scattered showers and a few thunderstorms are rumbling through, especially in the Birmingham area. Those are headed toward Columbus, Georgia. Here in the CSRA, where NBC26 is located, a few scattered light rain showers. We had a thunderstorm morning about 9.30 tonight for Emanuel County, but that has expired, and the thunderstorm has moved over into the Statesboro area, where a thunderstorm warning remains in effect for a few more minutes. That's it for now. Be sure to check uh, NBC26.tv weather for the weather in your area. Have a good night.